Hi everyone, how you doing? Dan here and today I've got another video for you, this time in Adobe Premiere Pro again. I did touch on this tool very briefly in my last video, which was how to do the automatic reframe, so make sure to check that out too. Um, but today we're going to have a look at the automatic scene detection in Adobe Premiere. So it's what this allows you to do is to take an exported clip with all your edits already baked in, and it allows Premiere to break it back up into the individual clips. There might be a couple of reasons that you need this. So maybe you've lost a sequence, maybe you've been sent it by somebody else and they don't have access to their sequence. It's stuff like that where you can then break it down and then maybe color grade each shot individually, remove certain bits of the sequence, or it could just be what you're looking to do for automatic reframe to put it on your social media. So we'd be looking at something like this where we've got a complete clip to something looking like this where all of the clips have been broken down into each individual shot. Best of all, Premiere does all this automatically. It's very accurate. All right, let's get started in Adobe Premiere. As I was saying, it's really easy to do. So first things all, as always with any one of my tutorials, we need to get our footage onto a sequence. So I'm just gonna drag this clip down onto this uh, button here. And um, so I shot this video not too long ago in Manchester. Um, just some nice shots, testing a gimbal out, which is a DJI running RS2, which is absolutely incredible. I um, love this shot here of Manchester, my mate on camera. Um, just, yeah, just lots of nice shots. Um, just put this on my Instagram. Now, this is all being edited, it's been graded, but it might be where in the future I need to take some shots out and regrade little bits independently. Or I might just want to put it, all these individual clips onto my Instagram, um, but reframed in a different way. So. All we need to do is, if you right click on the clip and go down to, where are we, um, scene edit detection. And so we've got a couple of options here. So we've got apply a cut at each detected point. So that'll just split this longer clip into all the um, smaller clips, which is exactly what we want. Now, you can also create a bin of sub clips as well. So this will put all of them newly made cuts into their own little shots. So then if you want to export them individually, you can do, which is really useful. And then you've got them in their own folder if you then want to put them into different projects. So this is really, really good if you're looking at B-roll and archive footage. You can pretty much get your full sequence into Premiere, break it down, and then you've got all your individual shots for exactly when you need them. So just hit analyze. It's super quick. Um, it'll fly through this a little bit. Now, of course, it depends on how long your sequence is to how long it'll take. Um, but this was a one minute sequence and it's shot through that fairly quickly. So as you can see here, we've now got all of these cuts. So everywhere I've got a cut in my sequence, Premiere has found all the individual cuts and it's done an amazing job. Just a brief word of warning, it doesn't work all the time with transitions. Sometimes if you've got transitions, you might just have to go into the edit and just pop a couple more in, which is really simple to do. You just go to where the edit's needed, press C on the keyboard and just um, make a razor cut. Not ideal, but obviously with transitions, it's a bit harder to work out what's going on. Um, so for this example, um, I might want to get rid of this shot here because it's no longer Christmas and it's kind of ages the video a little bit. So just get rid of that one. So that's great. So yeah, it might be what we need to change just one particular shot. Maybe the color's not quite right in maybe, let's say this shot here. Maybe we just need to warm it up a little bit. So instead of having to cut it out ourselves, Premiere's done it all for us. It's done a really great job. Um, so yeah, we'll just go to the color panel, we'll just make it a little bit warmer. It's not where I won't go too far. As you can see, this is a really simple way of isolating all your shots in an exported sequence. So if you're a colorist, you can go through all these shots and grade them. Now, of course, it's not ideal grading already exported material, but sometimes you're in a situation where you've got no other choice. And um, so that's one of the uses. I also mentioned earlier what you can use this to use the automatic reframe tool. Um, so make sure to watch my video on auto reframe as well. I'll just pop a video up above um, and then because I go over auto reframe and scene detecting there too. And as we clicked um, to put all the sub clips into a bin, here we've got all the sub clips here. So if we do just want maybe this shot here, we can just drag this on and we've got this shot ready to, to go. So if you was doing this with a few different exports, you could build up almost a B-roll library in here and you could go through and rename your shot. So whenever you need something, you've got a Premiere project full of all your B-roll clips and you can very quickly access them, which is, I think, a really great use. And I don't think that's one of the intended uses of this, um, but it's definitely something I'm gonna start doing going forward. So thank you very much for watching. Again, super quick video, but it does mean a lot to me what you guys are liking, commenting and watching, and also subscribing to the channel. 
every day I'm getting closer to my target of 100. Um, so if you do like these videos, do please like, comment and subscribe. It means the world and I do greatly appreciate it. I will be getting out with a drone this week. I couldn't get out this weekend. It was way too windy, which was quite unfortunate because I had quite a few ideas in mind. But that is coming. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay creative and I'll see you in the next video very shortly.